Now it's time to release these guys into the tank. There they are, beautiful little seahorses. One's out. There it is. Oh, one's having trouble. There we go. Yeah. There we go. So there we have one, he's just kind of floating. And there we have the other, just kind of chilling. These guys are the reason I built this tank. I have wanted seahorses for so long. And you never see that many people building seahorse tanks. Whoa, he caught the current and went surfing. They don't like a whole lot of flow. They don't mind a little bit. But these guys are little bitty babies. And as you can tell, they're, if their tails were outstretched, they may be two inches long. But they will grow to be about seven inches overall if their tails were straight. So they're still very young. And they eat little bits of shrimp and little bits of dried food. These guys are from ORI, I believe is the name of the company. I was very specific and picky about where I wanted my seahorses from because I wanted the best I could get. And they, at ORI, if, I'm, if that's the right name, they, um, they, are, they breed them in house they raise them in very specific waters. And they are very well trained, very professional. They know what they're doing. And they do a really good job of it. That's why they're, they're fish from their factory. Their, their, their breeding house tend to be more expensive because they're doing such a good job. But they seem to be pretty well happy. Pretty excited to be here. And as you can tell by looking at my fan coral, this tank is in the ugly stage right now. And fortunately, it's just, unfortunately, it's just something you gotta deal with, with a saltwater tank. It will clear up in time. Um, I'm gonna keep you guys posted on how these guys do and Show y'all some uh, shorts of, a, of me feeding them and taking care of them. And hopefully they'll live a nice, long, happy life. I think he likes that current. He keeps going back to it. But hopefully they'll live a nice, long, happy life. They can live 10 years in captivity. I've got lots of stuff in here. That's why I've got the things in here that I have, like these artificial corals that they can grab a hold of and the sea fan and, and down here. And then I've got over here, you can see a lot of the ugly stage on that one. But then they actually came with this little thing. It's a little plastic mesh attached to a little tube. It was in the bag with them when they shipped. And I figured, you know, I'm gonna go ahead and put that in the tank for them because they, they know it. So that may be a comfort spot for them since they're so young. And uh, we'll just see what happens. But thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe. And, uh, you don't have to hit the like button or the notification bell if you don't want to. I do appreciate it if you do. But um, Make sure you stick around to keep up with these guys. I'm going to do regular updates because one thing I have noticed is the few people on YouTube that do have seahorses, they put out like two videos and then never anymore. And uh, I'm going to keep you guys way more informed than that on them. Got a little cleaner shrimp down here. and Of course, our little fire fish is, is staying mid-picture. And a starfish. Yeah, but the starfish is hiding underneath there. You can kind of see our little, our little red 
shrimp down there. And starfish is under there with him. Starfish is nocturnal. Oh, look, he's found a, another little spot to hang. Starfish are nocturnal. Uh, he only comes out at night. So it's strictly when the lights are out. He doesn't like the light. Even though he doesn't have eyes, he can sense the light. And he doesn't like it. So anyway, guys, that's going to do her for this video. I just wanted to um, share this moment with you. Experience this experience. Oh, the hermit crab. Hermit crab. Yep, there's a hermit crab back there. I'm not surprised. There's quite a few in the tank. And uh, have we showed them the watchman goby? Yes. Okay. Just check it. Um, so that's, that's, that's what's new in our little saltwater world. Like I said a minute ago, hopefully we're going to have a total of three pairs. Hopefully I've got one male and one female here. I would very much like to breed them. Um, and then the next two pairs we're going to get are both going to be a different breed than these guys. Uh, I'm going to get a, a set of, um, commonly known as striped seahorses that have, they're mostly yellow with little black stripes across their back. I'm gonna get a pair of those. Those won't get quite as big as these. And then there's another set that I want that's more orange overall. And they get about the same size as these will. And I'd like to have breeding pair on all of them. So we'll see how it goes. We'll see what happens. And uh, I'll keep y'all updated. So until next time, thanks again.